we're really fortunate up here. We have a big migration of fluke that come in here on the, on the sand eels. Up here, it's great. It's all light tackle. For us, we're fishing, you know, 10 to 30 feet of water mostly. Um, so half to ounce and a half is really the best. You wanna go as light as possible uh, rather than heavy. And the light, the light tackle definitely outproduces heavy tackle. So light, the lighter leader you can go, fluorocarbon is a great advantage. For bucktail and spinning gear is great because you can cast your bucktail out, you can work it nice. And plus, you know, the fluke, we get them up to 10 pounds, but you know, we're only in 20 feet of water. So with your drag set properly, you can, uh, you can really work that fish. There's no structure to hang on. It's not like you're trying to get them out of rocks or anything like that. So I always tell people, you might as well enjoy it. This is my favorite place to fluke fish. I've fluked all over, but right here, yes, other places, it's incredible. You get big fish and all that. And so that's sort of a different game, but here, pound for pound, you get to really enjoy it. Light tackle, we do get plenty of quality fluke, you know, cast out and work it across the bottom. I mean, I like fishing in the bow, so you can cast off in different directions, bounce it back to you. It's much better to have some sort of light gear that you can cast it up tight and bounce it back on, on that side. You know, you gotta really watch your color of your bucktail, see what's working. Some days it's white, some days it's chartreuse, some days it's pink. You know, definitely uh, just pay attention to it. Find out what's the best color on the day. It might be uh, having no color. Sometimes it's just a plain uh, spearing on a hook is the best bait. You know, later on in the season, I find bucktails, when we first start, are definitely the ticket and outproduce the bait, bait fishing by far. As the season goes on, um, more and more, the, we get a lot of shorts and a lot more life on the shoals, and I find that at that point, the bait fishing gets pretty uh, good uh, compared to the discrepancy when we first start between bucktail and bait early season. Definitely, you know, you can't go wrong with just tipping it with spearing or sand eels if you can get it. Obviously, fresh is better than frozen. You don't want a bucktail without anything on. They definitely do better by putting some, uh, right, putting a sand eel on or spearing. Uh, there's a lot of squid around in May. Um, now it's mainly sand eels. You can see them all over the shoal here. Uh, that's what they're chasing. I mean, they, they eat all sorts of things. They're predators, but right now that's what, that's what they're on. One thing that I see that a lot of people do sometimes that can affect how well they're doing uh, is the way they're setting the hook. So a lot of times, if you're jigging a bucktail and you feel the hit, and then boom, they just set it and they pull the bucktail four feet away from the, from the fish. So it's, it's sort of a delicate balance of, of jigging and then you feel a bite and I almost like to give them a little bit and then I gently lift the rod and you'll know if you, if you start to feel the weight, then I set the hook. But there's that moment that you can tell and uh, if, you, if you do that properly, you miss a lot less fish. 